And we're back on Verhunga Savannah, and today we're going to be doing the Warthog Guide, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in, starting off with their drink time. So Warthogs, they drink from 1500 to 1800, as you can see right there. They are a class 4 animal, so that's going to give you quite a few different options of guns that you can actually use. And today we have with us a few different options here. I'm starting off with the 303. It's recommended classes 4 to 8. Then we have the air rifle. So I thought we'd bring the air rifle along. I think it would be actually kind of fun to use it on the Warthogs. Recommended classes 2 to 4. Then the AR-308, recommended classes 4 to 8, and then the 243 handgun, recommended classes 2 to 6. So you can use any 4 to 8 rifle. It really just comes down to which one you want to use and which one you just prefer, honestly. So max level is level 5, max weight is 150 kg, silver is 24.6, gold is 43.8, and diamond is 58.1. And I've never actually seen a diamond level 4 warthog. I have seen some big ones that have went way past diamond, so I'm assuming they can make it. Most animals, if their max level is 5, they will sometimes make it or make diamond at level 4, so I'm sure it's possible. I just personally have never seen it. Common fur types are gray, dark, and red brown. And then rare fur types are albino and red, which is female only. And then you can use the wild boar collar to call them in. So that pretty much does it for the information. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go take down some warthogs. So starting things off on the right side of the map here, this entire area is just kind of loaded down with Warthog Zones. All along here, starting up here at the Fisherman's Outpost and working your way down to like this outpost right here, which I cannot pronounce whatsoever, but this entire area is just loaded down and they basically have the same home range as the Cape Buffalo. All along the um, top of the map here, going down all the way to the bottom, and then you have these lakes up here that will have Warthog Zones on them. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some of these down. We actually have a really decent level 4 right here if we can actually spot him. There he is. 50 to 59 for his estimates. And he does have a chance to be max weight since max weight is 150. We have some others over there as well. There's a level 2, 35 to 44. And I think we have a couple level 3s over there. But we definitely want to focus on this level 4 to start things off with. So I think we'll just get the 303 out. He is attentive right now. And let's go ahead and we'll just take him. He's going to be alert because we are standing up. So let's take that shot and that will be perfect. Now they are going to flee here. So let's see. Can we manage to get one as they're on the run? Don't think we'll be able to. I'm not even going to chance it or anything just because they are so small. Chances of messing one up is very high. But yeah, they pretty much drop right there on the spot. If you get a good shot and pretty much any gun, that is a class 4 will do just fine. Like I said... It'll drop them right on the spot since they are very small. So we'll go ahead and pick this little guy up. I'm pretty sure he, yeah, he was the only one in this zone. So more than likely, this zone will end up disappearing since he was just a single in a um, zone here. So let's go ahead and we'll pick him up. He'll be a gold at 53.75. Got him in the right lung and the left lung. And yeah, just perfect shot on him and dropped him right there on the spot. Not going to be max weight or anything like that, which I didn't expect him to. But there was a chance at 58.9 or 0.19, like I said, is diamond. So we'll go ahead and accept him. And yeah, that zone did disappear. Or I guess it's still here. Never mind. Sometimes they do disappear if there's only one in it. Sometimes they don't. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on. See if we can find some others here. Okay guys, so we actually have this little group of Warthogs coming back in with the decent level 3 in it. There he is right there, 43 to 53. I was actually heading over here to get this guy. He's a 44 to 54, but since they're coming back in, we're going to use the air rifle here. Since we are so close to him, might as well. So he's still nervous. Need him to at least go broadside. We can probably take that right there, honestly. We'll take it. And that should be good. Yeah, Vital Blood, we already see it there. And that guy, is he going to flee? He's actually going to be calm. So we're going to go ahead and we'll get the 308 out here. And we might actually be getting attacked here. Um, sometimes the females, they love to attack. And I think the males will attack as well. Um, but the females, they always try to get me from time to time. So let's go ahead and we'll get this guy really quickly with the 308. That'll be perfect. And yeah, she's going to just stare at us. So we're going to go ahead and we'll just take the shot. And that'll be absolutely perfect on her. Dropped her right there on the spot and got, got vital blood as well. So she'll be a bronze at 20.63. Got her in the heart, the liver, the stomach, the intestines. Literally everything you could hit um, except for like the left lung there. We pretty much hit. So let's go ahead and we'll pick her up. And this guy right over here, he did run because the air rifle only goes up to class 4. So it's not going to be like super powerful on him. So we'll go ahead and track him down here in a second. But let's go get this one. We'll pick him up, we'll use the 308 on him, and it dro it'll drop him immediately. The 308 is super powerful, you saw how the 303 did. The 243 handgun will probably also be maybe not as powerful, it might take him a little bit to go down. But let's go ahead and we'll pick this guy up. And he'll be a gold at 45.32. Got him in the left lung and the right lung, and yeah, pretty much went all the way through, and that was perfect. Now let's head over here and let's get this one that we got with the air rifle. 
And then here's this level 3 right here. So picking him up, he will be a silver at 43.75. Got him in the left lung there. So yeah, just a good shot overall. He was almost a gold. He was 0.5 off from being a gold. Really big level 3 for sure. I'm um, 36 meters away with the air rifle. Took him down pretty quickly, honestly. He didn't go too terribly far. And we didn't blow out any zones as far as I can tell. Yeah, all of our zones are still here. So that is good as well. Probably going to go ahead and head up here somewhere to the top of the map. Maybe into this little inlet right here because it is pretty good as well. Let's just go see what else we can find. We have a nice 3 right there, 41 to 51 for his estimates, there's actually another level 3 somewhere in the reeds over there, I think we'll just focus on this guy, and yeah, we're just kind of up here at the top of the map, um, near this little inlet, and it is honestly fantastic, there's a couple different zones, you can actually see some back behind these, in a different zone, so let's go ahead and we'll get this guy with the 243 handgun. We'll get him down, then we'll see about getting some of them others over there just across the way. So let's go ahead and go for that shot. That will be good. And like I said, the 243 handgun is not as powerful as like the 303 or the 308. So it's going to take him a little bit to go down, but as you saw, his health was dropping pretty quickly. So we'll head over here and we'll get him. Over here in this zone, we have a couple of level 3s. We have a 38 to 48 right there. Then that guy is a 36 to 46. We're not going to worry about them. I think I actually have a really big level 4 just down the way a little bit. We're actually going to go check on him here in a second. But here's our level 3, so let's pick him up. He'll be a gold at 44.24. We got him in the vertebrae, right lung, and the left lung. So yeah, that was a perfect shot with the 243 handgun. Pretty much took him down really quickly at 128 meters. So like I said, yeah, we're going to go ahead and accept him. I think we have a really big level 4 down here, so I'm going to go check on that. And here's the big level 4, 51 to 61 for his estimates. He's actually going to be diamond potential here, so we're going to go ahead and take him down. That'll be absolutely perfect, and that is actually a brand new zone that I just found. I came down here when I was actually going to that little inlet, ended up spooking him off, I spotted him, he was a big one, came back over here, and it was actually a zone that I just had not discovered. And sometimes that does happen. When I'm discovering my zones for these guides, um, I will miss a few just because they're not always they're not always at their zones when I'm uh, actually coming through here. But there he is. Um, will he be a diamond? Probably not, but there is a good chance. Let's pick him up. And he'll be a gold at 53.48. So yeah, on the lower end of his estimates, got him in the um, heart there, the left lung, and the liver, and also the stomach. So good shot on him. Dropped him right there on the spot. He'll be a big level 4 though. And yeah, we'll get a screenshot of that because I can use him as the thumbnail and all that good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and accept him, and I think we're gonna, that's going to end it for today's video. Really do hope it was helpful. We're going to go ahead and jump into the map guide. I'm going to show you some of where like all the best spots are and just all the zones in general. So let's go ahead and jump in to the map guide. Here's our Warthog map guide right here, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see by the red circles, that's going to be like your hot spots. The right side of the map is absolutely fantastic, and the top of the map is also really good. And the blue stars, it's going to represent like where you might have zones. Now, everyone's map is different, so it is going to vary, but for the most part, it's in the same general area. So I really do hope this video was helpful, and if it was, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.